so here's the Panther brand new pump that's been leaking since day one basically within first two months of the latest was leaking and Panther would not fix it or replace it because they claim that our chemicals were improperly balanced which is a total nonsense and today we're gonna fix it and repair this pump so it's up and running again Nine sixteen wrench. Make sure that the power is off. nice and safe so here it is the leaky pump that we just removed that we will work at home on the bench and the leak it's coming right there from a faulty mechanical seal first things first loosen up fill up screws remove this cover Next, remove impeller screw with a flathead screwdriver. Keep in mind, this goes clockwise to unscrew it. Now going counterclockwise, we remove impeller. And to do that, we also have to hold to the fan. Here it goes. Here it is. Failed mechanical seal that Penter would not warranty the pump because they said that the water chemistry was terrible and was acidic and that's why the pump was leaking but in reality it's a faulty mechanical seal. This mechanical seal spring just broke in half and that's the reason why this pump failed and mechanical seal was leaking water. Thank you, Panther, for your amazing warranty. Remove remaining part from the impeller. <laughs> Remove bolts, four of them, holding this plastic part. <laughs> Remove mechanical seal. Clean, dirty parts. Our pump uses mechanical seal number 201. Remember not to touch the white part with your grease, your dirty hands. To help install this part of mechanical seal in the volute we can use a little bit of lubrication. To push in our part of mechanical seal into the body of the pump, I will use clean paper towel and press evenly on both sides. You gotta check on the back to make sure that it's all even and it fits perfectly. Wash it with alcohol.
time to put things together. I'm gonna put this back on. Now it's time to install the other part of mechanical seal onto the impeller. This part, this shiny part, will go right against the shiny white part. And this slides right over impeller with the rubber piece. And you should hold it in the back with your hand so you're able to put it nice and tight. Now it's time for the impeller screw. It goes right there. Remember, this one goes counterclockwise. This way. It goes like this. Lubricate. And this is how you rebuild mechanical seal on Penter VS variable speed pump. Nine sixteen.